is go in here go to your project folder whatever you name your project go to your directory here where it contains all the header and source files we want to create a new file I mean a folder we call it shaders and inside of here you want to create a text file a text document you can color it color underscore p bs then we can change the extension to be GLSL and I mean I create another one color ps the GLSL which will be that now you want to open it either notepad plus plus no, I don't I don't have time for that today so once you have it open on me let me make sure it's in the render bounding box because I will suck if it's not rendering what I'm actually putting here for you guys so at the top make sure you have a version this is version 4.0 we have some input values You have an in. So we could do a lot of uh, shader. Um, not a lot, but we can uh, maybe there can be tutorials where we actually can create our own little shader files. So you should know what the heck is going on in here. So basically, what this infect three. This thing already contained the first vector um, vertex position. So that's it's called in. This will contain it in there already. This could be a uniform for those of you guys don't know what uniform variables are. Uniforms are the ones we can uh, use in order to modify, the not modify, but if you go to your, um, into your shader, every time you call this, like jail bind stuff, all of these are uniform variables. So you'll only be able to access uniform variables if you actually call uniform at the beginning of every variable. If it's not uniform, it will not modify it, and I'll be able to look for it. So it's letting you guys know. So it's a map four for matrix four, and it's going to change the world matrix uniform. The view matrix and uniform. Since now that it's 4.0, it, before like in 2.1, it, it will. It will have the matrix, the view and projector matrix already done for you, but now you don't have that anymore. You have to create it yourself. And now it comes to the vertex shader. So it's called a void main. That's in a void. Hold on, would it be better off to change the language or something? There we go. Looks a little bit better. In the background, it sucks. It's so white. Hold on. That stuff. Inside our main, we're going to calculate the position of the vertex in world coordinates, in world view and projection. So basically you want to say GL position equals the world matrix times the back four of the input position and one. Is a GL position equals the view matrix times the GL position the GL position 
equals the projection matrix times the GL position. So there you go. That's how you calculate uh, the GL vertex position for it. Now that you have that, you will want to wait. Hold on. Give me a second. Probably should have opened it up sooner. Now that we have that, make sure we're gonna put the version number on top to let it know that this is actually a 4.0. So output variables. So we're gonna we wanna get our back the input the output color. And then we do a picture shader. So it's gonna be void main void and then you say the output make sure it's space output color equals a back four and you set everything to white and that should be it for that. That should be it for that. Make sure, hold on. Okay, that compiles. There's no errors, I hope. So now we finally, eh, we finally are done with this. Hold on. I'm really anxious to see something to see if it actually works. Can you do this? Yeah, you can. Zero, zero, and make it sixty four. You want to get the shader manager, or oh, you could get it here. Get shader of shader manager of color. And you want to begin shader. Oh, that's a weird way of doing it. It's a weird way of doing it. Make sure you end it. We can uh, create our... Well, we need a camera for this, though. Because we need a projector matrix. Hold on. Let's try. I'm not saying that's going to work. I don't think so. Sip matrix parameter. You're going to call it world matrix. World as array. Sip matrix to the view matrix. The view that has array. And then our projection matrix. And then graphics, get sprite badge, draw, rect. I'm not going to say anything this is going to work because this we haven't set our, our view and projection matrix yet. So I'm not expecting anything to work right now. And if it does, it'll be awesome. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a huge one right now. It's a huge white one. Hold on. Let's make it really small. Let's make it really small. Yeah, it's probably really close to the screen right now, so it won't. You may fill up the entire screen. Yeah, it's gonna fill up the entire screen. It's just, it's really close to the. We 
We need a BUM projection matrix. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You see that? We hardly find something drawn on the screen today. As you can see, uh, this tutorial was fun, was actually for something. Unless you guys know how to do all this stuff, then, uh, then there's nothing wrong with that, is it? So, I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. We drew, uh, we, oh, uh, how many tutorials is in this? It was probably like more than 10 already. All that was just to draw a little simple square. <laughs> or a plane, I mean. A simple plane. So, I hope you guys joined, enjoyed this tutorial. Um, we still had to create another component class, the the one that will render our scenes and all of that kind of stuff. But we still, um, I still got to find out what exactly we're gonna do. Either the AI or we can create our little small game, or we could do both. I don't know. I'm uh, hoping you guys could tell me that. You could at least follow me on Twitter or like me on the page and let me know there, because that's where I'm actually gonna be able to see it faster than anything else. So if you guys can like it, follow it. If you haven't already, let me know. And thumbs up this tutorial if you actually, and the other tutorials as well, that you, if he helped you out or if you liked it a lot. So thumbs up, it will help me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time and, and, and enjoy. So yes, keep messing around with this stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. We still have one last thing we have to do. I thought we had another one. I thought, I thought we, were, we were done, but we actually aren't. So, yes, I'll see you guys next time. So, signing out. Bye.